Microsoft Copilot has been available in Excel for a few months now for large enterprises and also available for individuals and small and medium businesses for a few days now. How does Copilot perform with Excel? Does it deliver the capability as shown in the Microsoft announcement demo 10 months ago? In this video, I will demonstrate how Copilot perform within Excel in comparison to that demo prompt by prompt. Let's see how it goes. At the end of this video, I will also share with you what I think the reason is Copilot is performing with Excel at such a level. First, let's take a look of the demo to look at what's the first prompt and what was accomplished by the Copilot. Copilot in Excel helps you make sense of all your data. Say you need to analyze this quarter's sales results. You start by asking Copilot to analyze the data and give you three key trends. Within seconds, you've got what you need. Now on my computer, I have a table with some data while showing the sales cases and sales dollars for different customers on the different dates and they bought the different product family products. In this table, I have more than 6,500 records. Now, given that table, I want to ask the same question to my co-pilot. I go to the Home tab, and then on the right side, I see the co-pilot icon. I click on that. That will show the co-pilot pane on the right side. And now I'm going to ask my first question, which will be the same prompt as in the demo. Analyze the business results and summarize three key trends. Let me click on Send. Working on it. Analyzing data. And it says, sorry, I don't have a helpful answer. Try another prompt. So it's not doing what's been done in the demo. Maybe I can ask a different question. Show me some key trends in this data set. And send. Working on it. Analyzing data. And now it's creating a pivot chart showing the sales cases by date and indicating we have outliers on the different dates on January 17, February 4th, and February 26th. So it is identifying some outliers. Now, if I choose to accept this, I can click on Add to a new sheet. And now it's adding a new sheet over here with a pivot table with a pivot chart alongside. And now it says down, I added sales cases has outlier on those different dates to that sheet. Now let's look at the demo again to look at the second prompt from the demo. But you want to drill in. You ask Copilot a follow up question about one of the trends. Copilot creates a new sheet, giving you a sandbox to play in and helping you better understand what's happening. Now back to my Excel file, I'll ask a similar question. Now in order to continue, I have to go back to that table. So I will click on go back to table. And then I can ask my question. Show me a breakdown of the sales growth and send. Working on it, analyzing data. And now it gave me a pivot table, which is a grand total of the sales dollars. So it's not showing me any breakdown. It's not showing me any sales growth. It just gave me a grand total. Okay, let me ask a question in a slightly different way. How did the sales change over time? And now it's creating a pivot chart showing the sales dollar by sales date. So this is actually better. I think it's giving me this chart to show me by date how the sales dollars is changing. And if I accept this, I can choose to add to a new sheet. Now I have the new sheet with the pivot table with the sales dollar grouped by each individual date and with the pivot chart on the side. Now let's look at the demo again. Let's look at what's the third prompt. You ask Copilot to visualize what contributed to the decline in sales growth this period. Copilot adds a little color to make the problem jump off the page. Now back to my Excel file, and I want to ask a similar question. Let me first go back to the table, 
I also ask help me visualize what contributed to the self store change. And it's creating a pivot table again with the grand total of the cell dollars. So it's not visualizing anything. It's not showing me any cell dollar change, not even to mention what's contributing to that. So again, go back to the demo to see what's the fourth prompt. Now you want to dig deeper and ask a follow-up question with a what-if scenario. Copilot not only answers your question, it creates a simple model and even asks if you want to learn more about what it did with a step-by-step -step breakdown. Finally, you can ask it to create a graph of your projected model. Copilot in Excel turned a sea of data into clear insights and actions. Now back to my Excel file, I want to ask a similar question. I would ask what would have happened if a frozen product family had the same growth rate as a fresh product family? I know that in the demo, it has already done some work. So that question was in responding to previous result. So here I do not really get any good response. So this question may not be very appropriate, but let me ask this anyway. And let's see, it's creating a pivot table, grouping by part of family, and it's counting the number per family and showing them as percentage. I don't think Copilot is understanding what I'm asking. It's using what I'm given and providing something relating to that, like for different per families, a uh, rate, but it's not truly understanding what I really meant. So it's giving something kind of related, but it's not what I asked for. So now you see, based on a few prompts, at this time, Copilot is not doing what I expected 10 months ago based on the demo. So what Copilot can really do with Excel? So here there's some suggested prompts like show data insights, show suggestions for formula columns, how can I highlight, filter, and sort data. Maybe I can show data insights. And now it's giving me a pivot chart showing the cells cases by per family. Okay, that's something could be helpful. Let me do the show data inside again to see if it can give me something different. And this time it's giving me the same thing. Sales cases by per family. The same as the previous one. Sales cases by per family. Let me just type my own prompt. Show me a different insight. Again, it's creating this pivot chart showing the sales cases by per family. So this is the third time giving me the same pivot chart. Now, let me go back to the very top of the code palette pane because I have some suggestions like add formula columns, highlight, sort and filter and analyze. Let me click on analyze to see what that suggests. I can analyze data and show insights in charts and pivot table, select a suggested prompt or describe what you would like to know. Total sales cases for per family excluding dry goods. Let's try that. It's giving me a pivot table showing the sales cases by per family and filled out the dry goods. So basically it's just creating a pivot table uh, with a filter being applied. I can also click this icon to look at some suggested prompt. Maybe I can use the understand. And if I click on show insights of the data to see what will happen. Sorry, I'm having trouble working on prompts right now. Try sending your prompt later. Let me go again. Let me go to understand again. And 
What is the percentage of finger food sales dollars sent? Actually, not bad. It's giving me this paper table with sales dollars as shown in percentage grouped by per family with finger food being highlighted as red being 17%. Not bad. Now let me go back again. Show me the top three customers based on sales dollar. It's creating pivot table showing three customer ID with those sales dollar amount. It looks like this might be right. Let me add to a new sheet. And I can see this pivot table and grouping by customer showing the sales dollar and if I click on the filter for the customer ID go to value filters and top 10 is top 3 item by some sales dollar which is correct this is the right way to do the filter now let me go back to the copilot clearly copilot within Excel is not doing well its capability is far less than what's shown in the demo 10 months ago but to be fair, if you look at in the Excel application, this copilot pane is currently indicated. This is in preview. Copilot is available in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and Team. And it's only in the Excel application, copilot is in preview. It's not fully developed yet. And that's why we're not seeing all those capabilities yet. My second point is this. If they want, Microsoft could put those capabilities showing in the demo already into Copilot with Excel because Copilot is built upon ChatGPT and ChatGPT has this plugin called Data Analysis which can write and execute Python code to perform very impressive analysis. As a matter of fact, the analysis you saw in the Microsoft demo they were not being done by pivot table or formulas. They were being done by writing and executing Python code in the backend. So why hasn't Microsoft put those Python capability into Copilot within Excel yet? It's because they are not reliable yet. I have used the ChatGPT data analysis tool to perform some analysis with Excel data. Most of the time, it will give me the correct result but sometimes it will give me the wrong result. So it's not good enough for Microsoft to put that into Copilot as final product. On the other hand, even if Python is reliable, but Copilot with Excel cannot purely rely on Python because with Python, users only have access to the input and output. They don't have visibility and access to the process in the middle which is a black box, writing and executing Python code in the backend. If the user want to tweak the process in the middle, they couldn't. They can only re-enter the new input and the process will generate the new output. One of the reason Excel application is so popular is because it allows the user to easily and conveniently to tweak the process. They can click a button to run a command. They can write a form in a cell directly and will generate different output. So I believe Microsoft must be working very hard trying to develop stronger capability for Copilot to execute Excel command directly and to write formula in a cell directly too. So Copilot within Excel at this stage as a preview is not performing very well. But I do believe when it's ready, it will be able to perform incredible tasks and help us dramatically. In this video, I focus on the comparison between the capability shown in the demo 10 months ago and the reality now as a non-finished product. But a co-pilot within Excel now does have many more capability, which I'm going to create a more video to show you how. If you find this video beneficial, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.